So this year, iPhone potential buyers were in for a treat. Not only did we get one, but we got two different variations of the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. And if like me, you're a little confused at the moment, then hopefully this video should make it easier for you to decide. So let's start off talking about the physical appearance of the two devices. Um, Apple told us that they are going to be uh, both bigger than the current generation, four inch screens with the 5 and the 5S. The iPhone 6 comes in at 4.7 inches. It's got a, a 326 PPI with that 1334 by 750 pixel ratio. And um, it's on par with really the 5S in terms of the screen. The screen does taper over, so that's slightly different from the 5 and 5S, which makes it easier essentially to get to the edges. Now the iPhone 6 Plus has the advantage of being 5.5 inches in terms of screen real estate that gives you a full HD display at 1920 by 1080 pixels that's giving you 401 ppi. Now if you compare it to some of the other smartphones on the market, the high-end smartphones on the market, that uh, full HD display isn't anything new. Now let's talk about the size and handling and this is probably where the major difference is, in my opinion. Uh, we have uh, the iPhone 6 at a 6.9 millimeter in terms of thickness, and the iPhone uh, 6 also has a comfortable one-handed use based on, on the initial feedback that we've had from bloggers who've managed to handle the devices. The iPhone 6 Plus, however, has 7.1 millimeter in terms of thickness, so a little bit thicker than the iPhone 6. It's got um, potentially a two-handed use, so it means that uh, Apple has tweaked the iOS. You're able to kind of use uh, one-handed use of the iPhone 6 Plus, but if, if we're being honest, it's really a two-handed device, which may be a make or break for many users. Um, and that's something that has made me wonder and kind of question whether or not the 6 Plus is just that tad too large for me. Now, let's talk about power. Both of these are powered by the A8 chip, the M8 coprocessor, and they come in variations of 16, 64, and 128 gigabytes. There's been no mention of RAM. Apple doesn't usually like getting into that, but in, in observation of, of, of handling the device and, and uh, you know, other bloggers' experience with the UI, it seems to be quite smooth, what you would expect from a high-end device. Now, uh, the camera is another area where Apple have made a distinction between the two. Both have an 8 megapixel back camera. They both record full HD uh, video. They record slow-mo at a whopping 240 frames per second, which is quite exciting to you know, use and test out. Um, they both have a 1.2 megapixel in terms of uh, front-facing camera, which record up to 720p HD. Now that's one of the areas where unfortunately both of the cameras uh, fall down in and uh, it would have been nice for Apple to upgrade the front-facing cameras but you know that's something that they've decided not to do and we'll have to wait for the final verdict on that. Now the difference between the two of them is in digital image stabilization with the iPhone 6 which is more of a, a software aspect of stabilization um, and the iPhone 6 Plus has the optical image stabilization uh, as a feature, which means that actually out of the two of them, the image quality on the 6 Plus should be better than the 6. And again, if you are a high-end user of, of photography and you wanna use your iPhone for that purpose, then that might be something to worth consider. Now, finally, we're gonna talk about pricing. This is an area where there's a major difference, and I think it's gonna be an overriding factor along with the actual physical dimensions of this device for people to decide on. So the iPhone 6 comes in 16 gigabyte variations. You can see on the screen, I've listed the dollar price and the, the UAE price. Most people will get either a 16 or a 64 gigabyte now. It's a shame that Apple haven't just completely removed the 16 and just included a 32 as a base model. Um, but there is a difference uh, of about 500 dirhams if you're here in the UAE between a 16 and a 64 gigabyte. Um, if you look at the iPhone 6 Plus, however, there is quite a major difference between a 16 and 128 and just a 16 and 64 gigabyte variation a big difference and I think for me personally that's one of the factors the the storage space and the price aspect that is making me wonder and 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 really compare the two well guys I hope this has helped you in some way decide 
on the main differences. Uh, obviously, there's nothing like hands-on experience and we will be bringing you those videos. But if you're thinking about pre-ordering tomorrow, uh, or waiting uh, if you're here in the UAE for it to come out off the grey market then that might be a useful video for you to kind of consider. Anyway leave your comments down below let me know which of the two devices you are drawn towards and in what variation and uh, please do share this with uh, anybody else that's thinking about the same issue. Until next time I'm Mkwan, peace and blessings.